This video is not in defense of Safari. I just see the comments and I think y'all be a bunch of lame ass. Let's get into it. Okay, Safari did come to the concert, right? And I was there obviously. Want to make a commentary on it? Um, he came in the building. Everybody, oh my God, Safari's here. Safari's here. Safari's here. And paid it dust. Okay, Safari did not get VIP. Safari's not in a suite. Safari was literally in the crowd having a great ass time. Okay, people didn't even know he was there. Like for real, for real, until. I noticed from my peripheral people who have put their cameras up, put flashes on on him, and they took pictures with a couple people who wanted to take pictures with him, and he left. I feel like he knew that people were gonna peep he was there, make a big scene about it, as the shade room and shit is doing now, and he decided to leave. And no, Nicki Minaj did not kick him out the concert. That's not true. He's, I don't think so because Nicki was not paying Nicki no more attention. Now, I will say this, okay? I feel like Safari is still Nicki's number one fan. They dated. Yeah, he lied and said he was her ghostwriter. And you know what? Eric might go be in the comments talking about some white not taking care of his kids. But for once, and I do mean for once, Safari was having a good time. And he was, okay? So y'all putting this narrative that Nikki was being petty and da da da. This time around, I don't think so. But he's still lame ass. So again, this is not in defense of the Safari. It's y'all just doing too much in the comments. But no, for once, I agree with you saying he's having a good time and he's not trying to cause the problems. And he wasn't. So, next case.